We do get a lot of visits and a lot of questions about urine. Um, it's it's something that is, is visible. It's something that people see. It's something that most people know what a normal um, urine color, they know what it's supposed to look like. And they have questions when it doesn't look quite right. One of the questions we see sometimes is my urine is discolored. Obviously red, you know, frank blood in the urine. It can be problems ranging from a kidney stone, a urinary infection, or even kidney cancer can present that way. Sometimes the urine doesn't show as bright red, sometimes it shows as a discoloration of the urine. And that's where our urine test will be helpful in determining that. When we do a urine test, we look at a couple of different things. We do first what we call a dipstick urine, and that is a uh, paper strip that has multiple patches that will react with different chemicals in the urine. And that will show if there's, if there's blood, that will show some of the markers we look for for a bacterial infection, uh, things like protein or sugar. If there's abnormalities on that dipstick, uh, our lab will often look at it under the microscope. And what they're looking at in the microscope is they're looking for any red blood cells that again may be indicative of a kidney stone. Um, they're looking for any white blood cells that might be indicative of a um, urinary tract infection, whether that be in the bladder or whether that be in the kidneys. Also on that dipstick urine, you know, we will check for glucose, and a lot of times we diagnose people with diabetes that way. And diabetics are not able to process all the sugar in their blood, so some of that sugar gets it deposited into the urine and will show up on a urine test. Other things we look for in the urine, we look for to see if it's clear or cloudy. Uh, sometimes deposits or even a urinary infection will cause a cloudiness to the urine. Again, back to that dipstick, uh, we'll do a test called a specific gravity that can give us clues as to the patient's hydration status. If they're dehydrated, or maybe if for some reason they're taking in too much fluid and the urine is too dilute. So it's, uh, it's a very common test, but it's a very important test and it can tell us a lot of information. So that's why when you come in uh, to see somebody like me, uh, one of the first things we do is we take that urine sample, we send it down to the lab, and then we can start our work up from there. One thing you look for is you look for any associated symptoms. Um, if there's a fever, that could be indicative of an infection. Urine infections can sometimes get into the bloodstream and cause a condition we call sepsis from bacteria that get into the bloodstream. So some of those problems can be urgent. Those are signs that you should get in as soon as possible calling your doctor right away, or even going to an urgent care facility um, overnight. As you mentioned, there are certain foods we eat, things we drink that can discolor the urine as well. If there's no symptoms, if there's no pain, if there's no fever, um, you're not going to the bathroom frequently, it doesn't burn when you go to the bathroom, that's something that you could probably wait for a day or two and see if it clears up. Obviously, if there's any pain, if there's frank blood in the urine, those are more urgent things that should be seen, if not that day, at least the next day, I would say. Unusual smells is a complaint we do get fairly often. We do know that some foods can cause a distinct smell to the urine, the one that everybody thinks of as asparagus. And again, that's, that doesn't cause symptoms. That doesn't cause the pain. That doesn't cause the burning. It doesn't cause fever. Um, something like that you can watch, you can wait. Other times, sometimes a urinary infection will cause a smell to, a, to the urine. It's worth calling and coming in and, and at least doing that urine test.